<laughs> I, I... <coughs> oh my god, where the heck did I come from? Hi, my name is Areku, and today I'm going to teach you on how to mod your VTuber model in 7 Days to Die. But yeah, okay, let's on, on to the video. So right now I want you to download this first. Create Unity, yes, for Windows. There we go. So I guess we just gonna go to the web website. And I want you to double click and install the application. Uh, click yes. Don't forget to click yes. And then after that, you get this. Scroll down, agree, pick uh, a folder, whatever you want it to be downloaded. I pick C because it's a default one. You can do with your other drives or something like that or make a folder. I don't know. But you can actually do that. But here we go. Okay, here we are. This is my last save project, by the way. So don't worry. I I don't have an account here. I didn't log in. Because for some reason, it doesn't work for my uh, PC. I, got, I, don't, I don't understand. So what we got here is like this file. The install. But I'm going to teach you how to install this one. Because sometimes using the official that this doesn't work out so like the install installer but what i want you to do is go here and download unity this one yeah save that now we're just gonna wait <laughs> so while we're waiting please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, leave a comment down below if you guys have any suggestions of what other tutorials I could do for you, please tell me. Comment down. That would be helpful with like uh, some ideas on what to do next. Here we are. And after this, I'm gonna teach you how to use the mod. Double click. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Okay, now press yes. A small, this thing would come out. You can't see it. It's right over here. There we go. It's installing. Press next. And then I accept. And then next. Next. And then next. And then let's wait for it to install. Been waiting. Just waiting. It's an installer. It's just so slow like my brain. Oh, there we go. Now then press finish. So you you got your Unity Hub, right? Quit it. Quit Unity Hub in your drop down, drop drop up. You can't see it right now because I'm covering it, but yeah, quit quit it right now. And then you see this, right? This one. Open this and run it as administer. After that, press yes. And let's see what happens. <gasps> there we go. Uh, shit, I'm covering up the whole window. There we go. It opened the Unity Hub. So apparently it kind of disinstalled in your PC, right? I mean, on this Unity Hub. This is in already. If you see this, great job. You did, you did right. <laughs> you did the right thing, okay? So I want to... What I want you to do now is to make your own project, right? And I want you... Maybe I should... Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> maybe I should make a... Yeah, maybe I should... Wait a minute, BRB. Okay, I'm back. So uh, I kind of like uh, pause for a bit so I can show you the full screen of my amazing desktop. So I want you to do click uh, 3D core create project. Remember 3D, okay? You gotta put make it 3D, okay? So while that is waiting, just wait for that to cook. And I want you to go to this one. This is the plugin that we need. For some reason, the post is gone, and this is the achieve one. So 
we're gonna click slow download and you gotta have an account okay remember you gotta register so you can download a file register an account it's never too late but i will give you the link no worries i will give you the link i will post it right there on the floating floaty thing okay now i think it's done so what what i'm gonna what are we gonna do now is go here ignore all of this <laughs> ignore all of the clutter place okay so what are we gonna do is like uh make make the folder make a new folder call it um, um seven days to die installer mod it's it's long i know uh, where is it why are you so up high what the heck okay there we go what we're gonna do now is extract this right extract here hey we got it i want you to copy i want you to copy this i want you to go find your seven days to die game folder so i want you to go here at f <laughs> this is where my other stream library is so go to steam library and steam apps and then common and there we go seven days to die so i'm sorry uh, it's always like this with my tutorials mate so i want you to make a new folder make capital m and then mods and then double click that baby and then paste the extracted file that you extracted earlier put it here and what i'm gonna I want what i want you to do now double click and then see this this is what you need copy this and i want you to import import a package import a custom package and here we are Remember your uh, the, the thing that you copied right here? Paste it and here you are and click Vroy Converter and then open. Yeah, there we go. Now it's gonna install its uh, thing. And what I want you to do now is import, click import and here we are. Hey, we got it. So we got here is the folders, right? I want you to click avatars and this is where we're gonna convert the models that you got okay so go to downloads if you got your model on the downloads and i want you to locate your uh, model and i put it somewhere over here here we go here's my vr vrm model you can make your own model using Vroid Studio. It's a free application that you can make your own character using default uh, default uh, models. <laughs> so what I want you to do now is like still do the thing, but on Avatar again. Here we go. Let it cook again. This is round two of cooking converting the 3d file into the uh, converted file <laughs> avatar is converted <laughs> ah it's finished <laughs> it's finished okay so what we're gonna do next is to go back to our file okay okay i'm, I'm gonna go back again <laughs> go back go back to if steam library steam apps common seven days to die go to mods alter vroid plugin and avatars 
There's already a sample avatar that you can use. If you don't have a model, you can use those. And I want you to click and drag into the folder. And boom, there we go. Boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh God. I made my... Uh, my collab partner model too and i want to show it off because because yeah it is i very cool okay where is it back there we go so what we're gonna do now is close this up i think we're fine already it will disappear by the way because you already transferred oh my god it's still there I feel like I'm living a liar all of a sudden. But yeah, close that up. I'm gonna run seven days to die, so ERB. Now we're gonna we're in the game. Hell yeah! This is the moment that you're waiting for. Let's continue game. I I already have this my world by the way. I already have like made this one, so that's for practice. <gasps> Here we are! Here we are! Hi, welcome guys. I'm glad you skipped. Sup, sup. Hey, I'm injured. Okay. This is just for testing, by the way. So what I want you to do now is press tab, tab key, and then go here, character, and voila! Your model is there! Look at that! That's a me! That's a me, a Riku! Okay. Some fun parts that you need to know, okay? If you want to go on uh, first person, you need to press up. There we go. Okay, so another fun part that you need to know. If you want to go free look, if you want to look, you want to look at your character, your beautiful character. Oh, I killed that rock. Haha, I killed the bunny. Oh my god. These zombies are really scary. Hella scary. <laughs> okay, here's here's the fun fight the fun thing. L let me check. I don't wanna get spooked by a zombie somewhere. Okay, we're we're fine. Press F1. Type DM. Let that go. I want you to press P and the bracket, the left bracket near the P. Is that a bracket? There we go. And boom, there we go. You can free look and this only works if you turn on developer mode. And that what the DM means. Developer mode. This is what you're gonna see. Okay? If you wanna control your model just press the bracket again so you can have control over it but the camera still stays that way there we go and press bracket again so you can move and if you want to go back press p here we go but if you press fps and press p and then bracket your head is gonna disappear because you're <laughs> <laughs> because you're in first person mode. Don't do that. Look at that. It's like you have a small tiny head and you're show showing your bald spot. Okay. So always to remember go third person, okay? Never FPS. When you're when you want to make a video or something like that like hey guys, welcome to my 7 days um 7 days to die tutorial. I'm here to make like the ultimate zombie base, so please enjoy. 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you Shay, what she looks like. Here we go. Uh -huh. The Star Fox of the Star Foxes. I know, we're we kind of done with the tutorial, I guess. Why are you still here watching? What the heck? Why are you still here? I'm pretty sure you are happy as well, right? That you finally have your own model be in the game and you can use that. Oh, wait a minute. Important part of that. The most important part when you're multiplaying, right? Okay. Usually it will not appear like for your other partner mate or something like that. So you have to have. Oh God, how do I do this? You have to have. You have to give them your. Uh, where is it? Okay, this is all Shay's models, okay? So you have to give... You have to give them... Your, uh, this file. So they can put it in your 7 days to die mods folder. Avatar. So, can, so it can be load too. It can be loaded. Okay? I made a lot of outfit, don't worry about it. Including your own. So you have to give your your uh Unity 3D also to them the file. So they can like uh so the model can appear when you guys are playing together, okay? Remember that. Copy this and put it on the mod, okay? Okay, you understand? Okay, right. Copy this and put it in the mod, okay? Put it in the mod. I'm gonna do it. Seven days to die, mods, and put it in the avatars, okay? Put it over here, right? And also your own model, too. That's why I put it here together. But, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that little tutorial of 46 minutes long tutorial. And I hope you guys learn a thing or two from my tutorial. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe the video and also share it to your friends and your dog. Mm. If you want to play seven days to die. And if you like 7 Days to Die, please come to our collab. We do that every Friday. And we do a heckala, heckala long stream about 7 Days to Die. Just the two of us, me and Jay, the Star Fox, VTuber from space. Yeah. Bye bye everyone. Have a nice day. See you on the next tutorial. Bye bye.